Hello everybody, so today we're going to be going over how to mix mortar in a bucket. To do this you're going to need two buckets, sand, cement, mortar plasticizer, which I'll explain more in a minute, water and a bucket trowel. First of all I just quickly want to go over the different ratios of your mortar mix depending on what you're going to be using it for. Here in the UK, generally bricklaying is four parts sand to one part cement. Now that can be a bag if you're using a lot. For our purposes, we're gonna be using a trowel as we're only doing a small amount in a bucket. Roofing mortar is generally three parts sand to one part cement for bedding down your ridge tiles, etc. Your general concrete mix is three parts sharp sand to one part cement. This is um, a coarser sand than your normal building sand. Commonly, it's also called concrete sand. I use this mix for the top of chimneys as well to bed in pots. Concrete mixes can also have ballast or aggregate in different ratios in it for extra strength. But for purposes of mixing in a bucket, chances are you're not gonna be wanting such a strong concrete. Otherwise, you'd probably get in a truck or have a big concrete mixer. To get mix in then, first of all, we want to load up the bucket trowel with some sand. Make sure you have a good idea of how much sand is on it because you want to, you know, pretty accurately match this with how much concrete is also going to be on the trowel. For our purposes, we're mixing up a bucket of roofing mortar. So it's going to be three trowels of sand to one trowel of cement and keep going until you've got as much as you feel you need. And then basically you just want to um, get mixing it up, just get that trowel in there and get throwing that sand and cement around so you get a nice, a nice good mix. And this is where your second bucket comes into it. Tip it all into the other bucket and then get mixing that up as well. So you want to keep mixing this way, mixing it up, tipping it in the other bucket, mixing it up tipping it in the other bucket, keep repeating this process until the mix is basically the same colour and you've got it all mixed up pretty evenly. This is where the plasticizer comes into it. Here's a few examples of generally how they you find them on the shelf in most DIY suppliers. Um, we use it because it makes the mortar more workable, it adds little bubbles into the mix and generally it's a lot easier to use if you add the plasticizer. Um, once the mortar is dry, it can also be more resistant to the effects of frost than just a standard sand cement mix, so it's, it's best to add it really. Then you want to make a little hole with your trowel in the middle of the sand and cement that you've just mixed and put a splash out of the bottle of the plasticizer. Do not overdo it with the plasticizer, you just need a, a very small amount when you're just mixing in a bucket. Then you can add some water to the mix. Make sure you don't add too much water because you can always add more if needed later on, but you don't really want a too wet mix. Um, it's gonna be a bit more difficult to try and salvage. So just a little bit and then get throwing the mortar around the bucket again. Then you wanna put the mortar into this second bucket and just keep mixing up again as we did previously. When you do empty into the bucket, make sure you scrape the sides and any bits that are left in the bottom of the bucket you've just transferred from and um, just keep throwing that mortar around the bucket. It's a repeating process basically. Drip little bits of water in if need be, but just keep going until we get a desired consistency. This consistency here is pretty much what I'd be happy with for the roofing mortar. Brick laying's generally a little bit wetter. A good test is put some on a trowel, give it a little tap on the bucket. If it sticks, you've done a good job. Then when you've finished your mortaring job, it's just a case of giving the bucket a bit of a clean out, cleaning up your trowel, making sure it's not covered in solidified mortar next time you come back to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Jobs are good and